Um, today we'll find out if I'm allergic to rabbits. If I'm allergic to dogs and cats and horses. Watch where you're going. During our forced three-month vacation from dog shows, Billy and I learned a lot about the different shows and the animals that inspired them, like rabbits. And now Billy is in love, purely in love, the two of you. And Cavi, by the way, that's guinea pigs. When we heard they had one of those shows in our area, we knew we had to check it out. Here we go again. Billy and I are back on our adventure, so be sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of the Jailbreak Diaries. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell so you don't miss one episode. Walking into our first rabbit show was strikingly familiar to that of chickens. Kind of at a loss. We don't know what we're doing. Don't know what we're doing. We have no idea what we're doing. Oh, no. Look at the little back and white These are pretty. Nowhere near as large, but just as loud and filled with the same amount of passion for the animals and for the sport. Ah! It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. I should touch it. Okay. Sorry. You're absolutely right. I should not do that. I would have to say they were in many ways even more inviting though. Yeah, like, come here and film me because what I'm about to show you is really, really cool. Oh. And they get themselves out. Oh. Well, they lift them out so that they can see them move. You want to come around back here and take pictures. You're oh, oh that'd be awesome. Yeah, yep. That was a judge asking me to come in and see what's behind the judging of this particular breed of rabbit. Now, do you ever think you'd see that at a dog show? Yeah, no. Okay, so that was a tan. Just, they call it a tan, T-A-N. And the lady said it was a running breed. A running breed. So they were like testing it, running. Your beard looks amazing. No, thank you. And they come in four colors. Lilac. Come on, chocolate. Chocolate. No. Black. And the tan. And, and, and the tan. tan is black and tan, basically. Right, right. Okay, look at that. That is, that is. You can also make them out of flannel. Oh, really? So that you don't or get scratched. If you're doing it for kids. Right. You can make them out of flannel. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Buy, buy the socks. Right. That have the toes. Right. right. Cut Just cut the toes off. The toes off. Right. Great for kids. Nice. Perfect. Oh, my gosh, that's awesome. Perfect little Christmas gift. This is what I want. Went that for Christmas, Some, yeah, birthday, birthday, Easter, October. Not Easter, because that's wrong. That's so pretty. We have to find out what I it's like called. Calicos and tortoiseshells, and I don't know if that's the color, but you're mumbling. Because I'm trying to not be a dork in front of these other regular rabbit people. <laughs> like fangirl out uh -huh. on, the, on the calico. I'm a <laughs> calico rabbit. Here they get. <laughs> And surprisingly, there were a lot of children involved in the raising and showing of rabbits. I mean, I understand that a lot of them started in 4-H, but clearly they carry on and start their own lines. It's truly become some wholesome family fun. Okay, so what, what kind of color is this because he is in love with it? Um, this is a broken tort. A broken tort? A tort? tort? Like, a like a tortoise shell? Okay. Broken tort. And you were right. What makes it broken because of the white? Um, because... I think it's because it's like kind of like a pattern almost. It's just like broken up. I guess it's what with, I yeah, okay. with the white. So yeah, it's not solid. Yeah. Okay. Well, Very what cool. What breed is this? This is a Holland Lock. Holland Lock. Oh my yes. god. Another thing that's cool is how much they actually embrace the youth in this sport. Kendall is adorable. Yes, she is. And she thinks that we're young. Yeah, it's so cute. She's, you don't look old. So she's our favorite ever. Ever. Because we're old enough to be her grandparents. I think it's a sport, right? Well, whatever it is. From getting their very first show rabbit to actually being trained by the judges during the judging. So that is really cool. They let their, their the youth actually go in with the judges and write for them so that they're learning the entire evaluation of what they're looking at. That's amazing. That it's is so hands-on, yeah, so involved. Absolutely. It's a great training tool. Absolutely. Unlike, never mind. Very, very thin in flesh right now, which makes it really hard to evaluate. Long in ear. I'm just going to go ahead and send it back. It just doesn't feel right. 
I'm just sending that one back as far as it goes. Senior best event. Aww. Also, the judging of rabbits is unbelievably awesome. Like, the judge is actually telling you what they like and, of course, what they don't like about the animal right there during the judging. Set a good head in here. Yeah, nice shoulder, good midsection, a little flat at the top of that loin because you like to see a little bit more depth. I'm going to say natural on the top. He's still selling some cotton because he's uneven right now. He's not finished under those sides. He's a little bit double-coated right now. I can tell you as an exhibitor and breeder of dogs, I would most definitely like to know the judge's thoughts on what I bring to them in the ring. I need that. Oh, look at those little ears. They're adorable. Goody, opal, blue, and white. This is Angora. English Angora. English Angora. I want to touch it. What's that? Touching? Oh, okay. It's like... Came out. So soft. Yeah. Like Angora? Like Angora. Right. Is that where it comes from? Yeah. I hope not. Well, I think. Mm, we're going to have to Google Reverend. that. <laughs> oh, my word. You, you are. You have, to you have to touch it? Yeah. Once you touch one, it's then like... Then you're done. Oh, oh my god. Right. Yes. It almost feels unreal. And she's very sweet. This is not your first? This, no, this, no she, uh, that, her. she is our first. Oh, we you're, oh so you're brand new We're to... We're brand new to wow. all this fun. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very cool. After being blown away by some pretty cool trophies and prizes for the winners, as in any animal show I attend, you already know one of the first things I want to go look for, and that's the auction and raffle table. I've lost Jen to the raffle. They did not disappoint. Do you have any money? We're not even married. I see a dollar. Addiction. Well, um, you don't need a rabbit hutch. Maybe I do. No, we're not taking a rabbit home today. I want one of those angoras. You I can't have me. candy or wine. Will you eat the fiddle battle? I'm trying to lose weight. But there's wine and it's safe. Do we want tattoos though? You want a tattoo? We can do our own tattoos. We can do our own tattoos. Just don't do number 10. This girl, uh, she's already threatened. 10. And if I get number 10, if I put it in there, I'll give it to you. Is she bothered to do her nails today? I did not. Or a oh, bunch. Did she tattoo a rabbit? Yeah, we're at a rabbit show. <laughs> it's okay, because it does work on us. I've accidentally tattooed my fingers before. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. We can brand each other. We'll brand I'll do the inside of your lip, and you do inside of mine. What, what am I not winning? Panic. I'm panicked. I'm not winning. I'm not winning anything in there. We won't be tattooing anybody today. Not today. We had tons of people beyond willing to share information as well as their rabbits. Unfortunately, this is not something you find very often at dog shows. And you know what? We should probably take note. Do you have professional handlers? Or do you, is, it, is it everybody like, they're breeding their own stuff? Okay, so they start as you. And they, as you, it's five years old. Okay. And that's how they work. Okay. So are most of these people, they're breeding their own? Or are yes. they just, okay, they're all breeding. So a, a lot of them come in and they'll start with, let me buy one from this one, buy one from that one. We know they're not related. Okay, let's start breeding them and making them our home group. Okay. So when you decide to take this person's rabbit and this person's rabbit, and you have the paperwork on them, and you breed them, that now becomes your, your rabbit rabbit tree. Tree. Okay. Oh, okay. And is there a registry or not? There's an American Rabbit Breeders Association registry. So they don't have to be registered to show? They don't have to be registered to show. They have to have a tattoo in their ear. Okay. okay. That's the tattoo machine. Okay. And they have to be up to quality of standards. Okay. Otherwise they get disqualified off the table. Okay. okay. No, and, a dis and a disqualification mean like that's it, they're done? That they're done for that show. For that for show. For that show. But there's like today there's two shows. Sometimes there's three shows in a day. Okay. But tomorrow there's two more shows. Okay. Yeah. So one judge could DQ them and then the next would say, is there, oh, I didn't see that. Is there a number of like DQs before you're like completely can't show ever again? Okay. Of course, I have this whole thing where if it's an animal and it's cute, 
I have to touch it. Ma'am, could you not touch the bunny? And I did a lot of touching. Can I ask you to not touch the bunnies, please? And received a lot of scolding. Oh, I fear that one. <laughs> That's why I said don't touch it. <gasps> I honestly had no idea. There were so many different kinds of rabbits. Walking up and down the aisles and seeing the amazing variety was mesmerizing. Okay. Huh. Hoto. Hoto. Okay, thank you. That is amazing. amazing. Look at the eyes on that. That's my, you just grabbed my I'm trying to not knock you over. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of liked it a little bit. But... <laughs> Sorry. Oh my. A good day. Yeah, like, you know, happy Saturday. Oh my gosh, these are. Really he doesn't, no. Honestly, if you only knew him. While the rabbit selection was huge, the cavy or guinea pig selection was much smaller but definitely just as impressive. Look at them. Tell me they are not just the cutest little things you ever saw. These are oh, Peruvian. The red is so The vibrant. red is just very vibrant. The reds in the long years aren't quite the It's deep. The <gasps> thought process is they all have like the same number of particles of color. Right. And when it's in a short hair like this, it stays it's, really short. It's right. And a long hair as it grows, it's grows it. Right, okay. Look at this, she's wrapping them like we do like right. with Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu the Maltese. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love them. So it's like you got a mohawk. Yes! Touch his hair, he's got hair, it doesn't have fur, he has hair. Oh my god. Like what would you bathe it in? Like I used human? To, yeah, human. I yeah. use human. Baby shampoo. Baby shampoo. Yeah. Blow dry him out. How, how old is he? Five weeks, maybe? Yeah, maybe five weeks. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Wow. They're born with their claws, eyes open, fully fur. <gasps> oh, that's kind of creepy. Koalas are bigger than this. It has longer nails than my chihuahuas. But the mohawk is to die for. You're the cutest little face. Right? Should I bring one home? Can't bring you home. I would love to bring you home. I almost brought home a guinea pig, yes. And I probably would have brought home an Angora rabbit. But I have no room. I have a house full of chihuahuas and a whippet. Oh, and Peyton the cat, who thinks, of course, she's a dog. And, of course, Billy, my bestest partner in crime ever. Always available to slap my hand and tell me to wake the f*** up and not bring home another animal. Thank you, Billy. So, there may not be any more room in the Figgy tribe, but that might not be your case. So, if you and your family are looking for a pretty cool family sport, be sure to check out the American Rabbit Breeders Association as well as the American Cavy Breeders Association websites for more information on different breeds and, of course, where to find a local show. So, <gasps> until our next adventure... Oh my god, there's options. Shout out. Carlos, I wore this for you. Carlos Ortiz. And for my friend Luis. Nice. Luis? It kind of looks like a penis. Film up. Then it won't. You can't help but look at it. It's a, it's a, there's a building. Like it's an old church. Oh, shoot. You're going to hell. I know.